guys, what's up? All right, I'm gonna start this vlog. My name's Dominique, for those of you guys who are new here, welcome. I'm literally driving to the airport right now, and I have to tell you guys about this whole debacle that happened this morning. So basically, I was supposed to already like be gone, high key, like I should have already been in the air. Everything got delayed, and I ended up having to like cancel that flight and rebooking a new flight, and I just like was gonna start vlogging and show you guys the whole process, but honestly, I was like, but let us talk about what is happening okay tomorrow i'm competing in the olympic trials i'm going to be competing for my spot on the olympic team and that is just exciting like i like there is no other word besides exciting about it because it's been literally two years since i've been in jamaica and just the fact that like I finally get this opportunity and I finally get to be there is just, just insane. Like it just like makes me feel so good. And so I'm just like, I can't even explain it to you guys. It's just an awesome feeling to know that like this is something that I get to actually train for. Also, um, to give you guys a little like into everything, like obviously you know that I'm excited, but basically there are four outcomes that can happen this weekend. Um, just so that you guys are aware of it, I guess, in the beginning. So I haven't hit the Olympic standard, which is 1432, um, just yet. In order to get to the Olympics, you have to jump the Olympic standard. And right now, like that's something I, I would have to do at this meet in order to go. So in order to make it to the Olympics, you have to place top three, and then you also have to have the Olympic standard or have enough points in order to get into the meet, which is a whole nother ridiculous thing that I just can't really explain right now. Four outcomes that can happen. One, I don't do anything, and then like I don't place third I don't hit the Olympic standard easiest way to lose I guess second one is that um, I could jump the standard and then not place third so there's that um, which would kind of suck but also still puts me in the running to go to the world championship so that's fine third one is that I place third and then don't hit the Olympic standard in that case I would have to go based on points maybe but that's also a whole nother thing that I have to figure out um, which is like not really ideal but it is something that can happen. And then the last one is that I either first, second, or third, and I also get the Olympic standard. I can't wait to bring you guys along with me, so let's go! But it ain't no one's fault that I am stuck Also, I most definitely walked the wrong way. I was supposed to walk to Terminal D, and I was walking to Terminal B. Like, girl, I need to hurry up. It's like 12.30, and I'm late. I'm late. My flight's at 3 o'clock, by the way. All right, so I'm waiting for my coach to get here. I've already checked in. I'm just waiting to get into security. Uh, pretty much. I don't know why it's zooming in. Oh, my God. Great. <laughs> okay, I don't know why I zoomed in like that. That was actually kind of insane. I'm waiting for my coach to get here right now. And then I will go through security when he gets here. Our flight is at 3. It's like 1 o'clock right now. I compete tomorrow at 4.45. So today's game plan is to just pretty much relax as much as possible. I might do some drills in here if he wants me to. If not, then I'm just going to stay hydrated. I'm gonna eat good food and I'm just gonna be ready to fucking smash the competition tomorrow. You feel me guys, you feel me? The fit, since I didn't get to show you guys the fit. Here, we're gonna put this down. We're gonna be extra for one second. Okay, this is my fit. It's all Nike, the shoes are Asics and this is from Target, but I'm gonna give you guys the logo. That's what my fit looks like. All right, I'm just gonna like chill for a bit because I have literally nothing to do right now. Bye.
to be honest, I was so hungry. And Cordoba was the only one open. Crazy. I know. All right, I'm gonna finish eating, so I'm not like talking to you guys with my mouth open, but. All right, this is what I got at the airport. It's from Cordoba. It's really just rice, veggies, and chicken because I didn't want to do too much. Um, and I figured this would be fine in my stomach. And we also have like a three hour flight before we get to Kingston, so this is what it is. Right, guys i am officially in the hotel and i want to show you guys my travel roller that i got from target you don't necessarily need one of these but i figured why not get one so you can put it in your carry-on and it's just wonderful look how small it is and look how it gets the hamstrings going and you can get your little calves too they see me rolling they see me rolling they <laughs> Um, <laughs> I am literally going to do some more stem work and then I'm gonna take a shower and stuff like that. So I will hit you guys back up, but I really want to show you guys my travel roller because this, this, this is it. This is how you make champions. So obviously every time I do a meat vlog, I have to show you guys the room because what is a meat vlog without a room tour? So I'm staying at the Spanish Court Hotel. I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like. Actually, let's not start with the bathroom because you know that's my favorite part. So right here, you have a closet that has some interesting little handles. If you look like that, opens up. It is just a regular, regular closet with some hangers. There's an iron. We love that for us. So now we move on to here. We have our mirror. Hey, a little dark. Don't worry about it. Then we have a little coffee machine that I'm using because actually, guys, Makeup right now has a curfew of nine o'clock. So everything like food wise is closed. But I brought a whole bunch of snacks with me and a whole bunch of like food. So I'm just about to have like oatmeal before I go to bed so I can eat. So I mean, thanks. Props to me for thinking ahead. All right. So. Got a coffee machine maker. Love that for us. These are the compacts that I'm using. They're like a Normatec, but portable. Our TV, wonderful little TV. This little setup that's quite messy right now, but let's not judge. A couch for obviously the clothes prep. Beautiful windows. And then this masterpiece of a bed. We got a king size bed, two lamps, an alarm clock with multiple plugs and obviously a lot of room space that I have been doing my stim on and then for the best part because obviously we love a bathroom we have a mirror here love that for us another mirror here hey we have a bath a wow bath we have a sink a toilet obviously and look at this gorgeous tub holy crap and the wallpaper is so nice and look at the shower head Guys, beautiful. We love that. I am so glad I got to show you guys this room tour before I went to go take a shower. I know it's a little messy, but honestly, this is a very nice hotel and it's in the heart of Kingston and it's right next to the track. And I'm very pleased, except for the fact that the curfew is nine o'clock and we can't order any food because everyone has to be back at home. Like you literally cannot be on the streets right now after nine. There are some people that are still out on the street, but I mean like, that's basically what's happening right now. So, but I'm about to go take a shower and prep for some more recovery and to sit in the booth, so.
um, get my COVID test and eat, but I just want to come out here and say good morning. I slept really well and I'm kind of tired a little bit more just because I went back to sleep, but I had some really good dreams. So I hope everything goes good today and I will see you guys soon. Bye. All right, this is my morning fit. I'm probably gonna do some stim downstairs. I'm just wearing leggings, a uh, crop top from Sit Active, and this sports bra is from Outdoor Voices. It's super cute. Um, so yeah, I'm about to go get some breakfast and probably go take a COVID test that I need to go take. Um, and we're all set to go. Hey guys, what's up? So, um, trials is done. I should do like my jumps and everything. I um, ended up placing third amongst the Jamaicans and I got a nice little medal, which I can show you guys. Looks like this. I ended up getting third place, but because I did not jump the Olympic standard, I did not qualify to go to Tokyo. So in order to go to Tokyo, you have to either jump the, you have to jump the Olympic standard and place top three in your country. So um, I didn't jump the Olympic standard, but I placed top three. So I did like half of my goal, which is bittersweet. I already like cried about it um, and reconciled my like feelings, I guess. Um, Cause it's like a weird feeling, but at the same time and ignore my hair, it looks absolutely ridiculous. Um, but at the same time, I've made tons and tons of progress this year in terms of just like how I carry myself at track meets, um, in terms of like my confidence level and what I've learned. And I mean, every single meet that I've gone to, I've jumped, I'm pretty sure like 13 meters. And that's a lot more times than I've ever jumped 13 meters in college. Like I've only jumped 13 meters once in college. <laughs> And I made like tons and tons of mistakes and there's just so much to learn and like gain from this season that I can't be too hard on myself. And the only thing that I can do in order to become a better athlete and to reach my goals to be one of the top like triple jumpers in the world is to take what my coach says and, and use that as like motivation and fuel to build better and new goals for the next season. So next year is the world championships, um, indoor and outdoor. My goal is to make the outdoor world championships. So that is what I'm setting my sights on next. Um, it's gonna be in Eugene, Oregon. Definitely keep you guys updated and just like super like in tune a lot better than I did this year with the entire process. Um, I have a break right now and I will be traveling, which is like super fun. I'll go um, to an island later on this month and um, that'll be like just a lot of fun. I'll make sure that like, I document it and you guys will see a lot more content from me, especially because I have like a month off and um, I'll just be like documenting just like my journey and giving you guys tips on like being an athlete and navigating post-grad life and also just like all of the things that we're always going through in order to reach our goals and all that stuff and it's not always easy it's not straightforward um especially when you have a goal like making it to the olympics and it's just it's a blessing actually that the next olympics is in three years instead of four years and that's three years of time to just like get better at my craft and learn a lot more 
um, especially this being my first year as a pro athlete. I mean, like I got third at nationals, so that's pretty dope. I just can't wait to like do more and see more and experience more and jump farther than I can probably even fathom myself jumping and just learn more about my body, like what it can produce and just like what I can do in the future. So thank you guys so much for being on this journey with me. I am so excited to bring you guys along with me. You guys mean so much to me and all the positive messages that I've gotten and everything has just really warmed my heart and made me so, so happy to like be here and competing for my dreams. But I today am just going to be watching TV. Literally, my bed's a mess, but my iPad is like right here. I think we might go to the beach to go get some fish. I'm gonna go see my aunt soon. And then we might go hang out with some other teammates and that kind of stuff. So but I wanted to like give you guys that update and just let you know that I did not qualify even though I placed third. Um, and it was heartbreaking, but the goals that I've set out for myself and the goals that we've talked about with my coach are stronger than ever. And I cannot wait to attack them in a month from now when off season is over. So yeah, I'm gonna enjoy this time and um, I will see you guys soon.